Music was part of my culture growing up. It was, uh, it was like breathing for me. I was a kid and uh, I heard this amazing instrumental line playing on an old turntable that belonged to my sister. And I was transfixed by that. Uh, C'est quelque chose de la musique, même si aucune parole peut vraiment uh, uh, créer des émotions pour n'importe qui des gens que peut-être qui ont jamais entendu. So I used to love playing bongos along with Gordon Lightfoot records. <laughs> It's like he never had bongos in there, so it was great. I'm just going to play bongos to the way I feel. <laughs> music can take you places and take you to a different world and show you things that you wouldn't see otherwise. I could feel power, I could feel love, I could feel strength, I could feel all these, these convictions. It's one of those things that will always remain somewhat mysterious, but I think that's a good thing. The National Music Center offering is incredible. It combines a wide range of program elements throughout this architecturally significant building that fuses the past, the present, and the future. We have this amazing opportunity to give Canada a place that amplifies the love, sharing, and understanding of music. From the very start, we talked about music being able to be played in any place in the building. It could be on some of the walkways, it could be in the galleries, it could be in the lobby. You know, that you could hear music bouncing off the building inside and be not quite sure where it was coming from. It's sort of in the discovery of the body of the building. Music permeates everything. There's a dedicated recording studio. There's a radio station broadcast area. A 300 seat performance space that is unlike any other performance space in the world that we know of. The walls can be retracted so it plays to the entire building. The King Eddie Club live music venue will be in time one of the most important live music spaces for Canadian artists long term. Because of the Eddie's rich history, we're, we're saving it and we're going to restore it, but we don't want to sanitize it. We want to make sure it still feels like that kind of raw and somewhat edgy place that it has always been. It's not only just making a new building, it's making an entirely new institution that doesn't exist. It's incredibly exciting to be a part of it. There's a, a whole range of ways um, that the National Music Center is going to impact Canadians, both in Calgary, in Alberta, and beyond throughout Canada. We are going to have this artist in residence program within the facility so that Canadians and artists, Canadian musicians can come and be in residence to create, compose, perform, have access to this amazing college. It really has a lot to do with, you know, identity as well and, and, and culture and that connection to who you are and having a place to express that and create and then share and, and put that on on display so that pe other people can experience it. Amazing. I think, unfortunately, nowadays the school system doesn't really involve music in the curriculum. Um, so it's very important in any way possible to get kids involved in music because they just don't know it's out there. It has been proven over the years that music is good for kids. I mean, the, if, if people read music, it develops higher thinking skills. So the National Music Center, when you bring those program elements together, you have part incubation artist in residence space, part performance space, part museum, exhibition gallery space, part recording space, part retail, and public gathering event space, all rolled into one. Music is very expressive and much more so than a language. I think. We don't have to speak English, we all speak music. We all feel music. We all appreciate music. Peut-être que si quelqu'un joue une, une, une pièce sur le piano, que les gens ont peut-être jamais entendu du piano, pourraient quand même ressentir ce que, ce que l'artiste voulait, voulait faire ressentir. It's something that every culture, every individual responds to. It's the truly universal art form. It's a, a, an integral part of who we are, I think. So it, it, it's very important in so many people's lives. Without music, there's no life. That's all there is to it. This National Music Center project is unlike any other project that's occurring in this country right now. So we have the experience, we have the idea, we have momentum, we have will, and we have desire to make this project a reality. 
So come get involved, play your part, and support the National Music Center. We are Asani. I'm Brian Klumfeld. My name is Jan Leshetsky. I'm Jane Bennett. What's up, y'all? It's your girl. It's me. It's Julie Black. And we are Simple Plan. And we encourage you to play your part. Play your part. Play your part. And I encourage you to play your part for the National Music Center. Aidez-nous à rendre le Centre National de la Musique une réalité. This is Anne Murray asking you to play your part for the National Music Center. <laughs>